Hi there. Now before we start part B and C, just to point out that I've now added the answers to part A where we had to work out the values of STH and SHH. So for part B now, we're asked to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for this data for two marks. And then in part C, state whether or not your value supports the use of a regression equation to predict the air temperature at different heights on this mountain and give a reason for your answer for one mark. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, you can always fast forward if you just want to check the numerical answers or I'll just take you slowly through the methods. Now, when it comes to working out the product moment correlation coefficient, you should be familiar with this formula, which you'll normally see in your formula book that R is equal to the statistics SXY divided by the root of SXX times SYY. Now, as I pointed out in part A of this question, we're not dealing with x's and y's here. Only x is the h and y is the t. So we can translate these values here to sth and shh. So I'll show you how it works then. We've got that r would be equal to, instead of sxy, it would be sht or basically STH, which we worked out here. So that's going to be STH, and it's going to be divided by the square root of, instead of SXX, that will be SHH, SHH, multiplied by, instead of SYY, STT. And so if we substitute our values in, for STH we've got minus 22408.8 recurring. And this is all divided by then the square root of SHH, which is this value here, 1491222. Point 0.2 recurring and we're multiplying this with STT which we were given as 371.56. So if you work this out what you end up with is that it equals negative 0 0.9519 and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures then this will be minus 0 0.952 to 3SF, three significant figures there. Now for the next part of the question, part C, we're asked to state whether or not your value supports the use of a regression equation to predict the air temperature at different heights on this mountain and give a reason for your answer. Now the correlation coefficient, r, should always be a value between minus 1 and 1. And remember that when it's negative 1, just draw a sketch here, not that you need to do this, but uh, if this is h and this is t, then when you've got r equaling negative 1, you would have your points in a perfect line going downwards. This is close to negative 1, so you're going to have some scattering, something like this, with your data values. And therefore, this is very close to a linear fit here, where r would be equal to minus 1 then, if all the points were on that line. So the answer has to be yes, and the reason is because r is close to negative 1. Okay, we'll put minus one there. All right.